What is up, everyone? My name is Volcanicash68, and welcome to a new game! We are playing Curse of the Dead Gods, starting out, uh, with little to zero knowledge of this game. I know it is a, like, third-person, isometric, roguelike. That's kind of hard. I'm excited. I'm not sure what we'll do with it. Probably just play it. See where that takes us. And yeah. Let's do it. Intro cutscene. Can't skip, so we're gonna watch it together. His hand or on my hands. Anyway. Hmm. Anyway, a little about the game. I was looking at the controls. We have dodge, parry, and three weapons, and a torch. I know we can get cursed, get more damage in the darkness. Uh, it's kind of like Slay the Spire in a way, where you have paths you can take to rooms. Uh, other than that, I, that's all the knowledge I have. So we're going to figure this out together. All right. Or dot, or, that's our torch. That's our parry. Alright, so this is our main attack. Pistol shot. And we have stamina down at the bottom. That is, that's also a thing. Okay. It's gonna, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to these controls. I have my dodges B, like I do in Dark Souls. So that's kind of easier to, you know, cope with, I guess. Is there already a secret? Alright, let's just do this. Let's jump straight in. Oh, yeah, and our action button is right bumper, which is kind of wonky. But hopefully, we won't have to use that as often. Alright. What do we got? It's like Aztec stuff, I guess. All right, here we go. Coming straight into it. So it looks like when you switch weapons, you don't attack right away, which is interesting. All right, first room, what do we got? Oh. Light reveals hidden traps. Staying in darkness increases the damage to by 50%. Watch out for the indicator at the bottom of your screen to know which thing in the light or darkness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Oh, we're just going through the tutorial, aren't we? Come on. Should have done this already. Oh, I have to do things. Ow! Okay, defeat the enemy, you see our attack. So there's no stun locking. Use Oh. So it's like a combo. Interesting. I didn't do it right, did I? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> hold oh, okay. Hold main attack for a while, then release the trigger do for a charge attack. Requires one stamina point. Yeah, that makes sense. Get a freaking hit! Oh, no, our stamina. That's gonna be an issue. I'm trying to watch our stamina. Usually, when I play Dark Souls, you know how I be. I spam the, the uh, wait, what is it? Why it? Chain A is secondary. So, oh, so main attacks don't, okay, finishers cost stamina. Charge shots cost stamina. Dodging costs stamina. Okay. 
Oh, we gotta do perfect dodges and parries. This is this is gonna be rough. Okay, parry. Ooh, get parried. I gotta do perfect dodges, eh? Okay, oh, you recover, you recover stamina. That's why it's a perfect dodge. Hey, got it. <laughs> Alright, are we done the tutorial yet? End of training. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, I should have yeah, not done that. Guess that kind of stuns them, huh? Alright, alright, alright. Hey, get cheapened. <laughs> Initiation. Alright, crystal skulls are powerful. Artifacts? That's a little spelling error. You can collect from fallen enemies. Skulls are bound to your character and persist even after death. Oh, so it's like a rogue light. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Jade ring. A gift from the dead gods to those who overcome the trials. New gear. Oh, okay. So we get to unlock stuff. I was not aware of... I wasn't sure if this... If that's what this was. Oh, I can't get them out. Okay. We got gold relics, and then... Is there... Okay. Uh, weapons, healing, challenges, upgrades... Uh, let's start off with like, let's go gold, artifact, healing, weapon, weapon, attribute, attribute, if we can make it that far. Oh, so we got some curse. Save available. Corruption gauge. Each door you go through causes you to get corrupted. Each reach full of gauge corrupted, you can cross and it will curse you. We don't have curses yet, we just have 20 corruption. Got it. Okay, are there any? That's, I'm pressing all of the wrong buttons. Greed kill. What is a greed kill? After killing an enemy, the greed kill timer starts. Chain kills to get greed kill amount. Oh, just more gold. More gold per kill. That's, that's what it is. Hey. Wrong buttons. Wrong buttons. All of the wrong buttons. Oh. Hit it. Okay, now we got some light. So far, so good. Oh, he destroyed the light thingy. I don't want you to be bowling over here. I just wanna... I'm gonna do the things myself. Ooh, perfect dodge. Oh, got hit. Oh, it's, I don't know why I thought that was a good idea. I wasn't trying to hit them with the torch. I'm just getting buttons. Okay, gun and smith material. Plus damage for your pistol. That's not a pistol symbol, bud. I'll take it. So we have an inventory. Oh, look at that. Okay. We don't have a two we don't have a two-handed yet. We have I guess we only have a certain amount of crafting which crafting slots. That's our curses. And those are things we don't have unlocked yet. Got it. Button. I keep wanting to press Y to switch weapons when I know that's that's not right. Oh, I missed a cup. The uh, golden it. That's traps. All right, let's go to the next room. So it was relic, right? So if you get to the first boss on our first run, that would be nice. Save available. We can save. Whatever. That's a bomb, I think. Yup. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm sitting back here, eh? Another crafting material. Projectile damage increased based on the distance traveled before impact. Nah. Get rid of some curse for that. Oh. Just really trying to time that, right? Oh, you destroyed the thingy. This would be a difficult game, I can already feel it. Oh, he hit me with the curse and then hit me again. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is gonna take a skill curve for sure. Let's go the correct way this time. I haven't really tried parrying. That's something that scares me, parrying. We're not going to be too good right away. Oh, this is our offering? How much money do we got? 835. Or curse. Six constitution. We'll do it. I'm not sure what it does, but we'll do it. Kind. What do I do with it? Oh, it just max health. It just stays there. Got it. You want to do healing gun gun? Yeah. And we're almost at our first curse already. No torch. Boss fight? Mini boss fight? I just... Okay, so I get cursed to, to heal. Got it. I did not know that. Let's go weapon. And we got our first curse. Creeping gloom. Take damage triggers a wave of darkness, extinguishing any fire source in the zone. You deal 10% damage... You in so you deal plus 10 damage and light. That's not bad. Yeah, I understand. Use my pistol more. It's nice how our main attack doesn't uh, constantly or, like take stamina, which would be terrible. Oh, more enemies! Here we go. I want to see what more what weapons we can get. I want to see what kind of two-handed two weapons are out there. Okay, what are you? That's new. Oh, he shoots things. Okay, 10. Oh, it's just a greed kill times 10. Oh, big ouchies. So it looks like our, our hit range is pretty wild. You can hit things pretty far away with a sword. Which is nice. I don't want him, you know, had to be so. Wait, where was our weapon? Oh, completely disregarded it. Uh, oh, we have to pay for it? That's not cool, man. I thought we'd just drop. I'm not getting. I'm not doing that. What? Well. Let's just at least take a look at them, just to see what they look like. There's some claws, a spear, and a sky hammer. 
That looks pretty cool. Oh, so these are two handeds and a main. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Restores 1% of max HP for each enemy killed. Yeah, that would be pretty dope. But I ain't got the moolah. I guess we gotta go with another weapon. I'm enjoying this game. What is what's your all opinions of this game so far? And this is I am playing on console. I know it's been on PC, I think, for a minute now. But I like playing on console better. Sorry. So you can't dodge through them. You get like trapped in a corner, you're trapped in a corner. Get this three time up. Wow, that attack really got me. I lost our green timer that way. I don't like timing that. All right, what's this? Another weapon thingy. Take a bow. No thanks. I guess I should do more exploring, huh? Uh, let's go attributes. Let's see if we can go up, get two attributes before something. Oh, two attributes for bo for boss. Got it. Okay. We're already at the boss. Trying to see if I can outrun it. Oh, you gotta dodge that real good. Alright, any secrets? Any secrets? You can blow holes in the walls if there are bombs. What the heck? I don't think you could just like hit hit something and it would be revealed. Hey now. Oh, I forgot. I, oh, hey, that's a big dude. That is a big dude. Oh, what? You could reach me? My gosh! Oh, the attack patterns! That's amazing. What's this? Constitution. Yeah, I'll take it. No, does that just stack? No, it doesn't. Very interesting. You earn the power of the dead gods and improve your attributes during a run. Each point of constitution increases your max health. Dexterity increases your weapon's base damage. Perception increases any gold income. Got it. Take them both. Uh, I won the damage. Now that just... Interesting. So we, these do nothing for us yet. Or do they? I'm not entirely sure how that system works yet. Alright, let's get some more attributes. Keep on trucking. I want another- I want a new weapon. Oof. 
enemies are very tough. A treasure. Yeah. Anything else in here? Hello? Guess not. Keep on going. That's gonna be a hallway full of traps, isn't it? Yup. Thought so. It's over here. Good end. Got it. The other thing that's not on fire first. You still got that that thingy for 10% damage in the light. It's hard to keep on light. Unless we just do that and just light them on fire. Lightning damage? We don't have any lightning, so let's get rid of it. What is that? What are you? Oh, you are a ranged boy. You're a shaman, probably. Okay. Treasure find, damage. Come on, you cannot beat damage. At least early. Anything else in here? Nope. All right, one more attribute than a boss. And we're gonna see how this goes. I have zero hope, because of a new game, we're gonna get blasted. Gold over here. Let's get some of that. Is it worth it? I mean, hey, yeah, it's something else. Neither is stun locking. I just haven't been doing it right. Hey, get out of here with your lasers. I got a gun too. And we are at our offering. Max health. We only really need gold find. We're not like going for anything yet. We're just learning. Alright, champion, here we go. Here we go. I am... Oh, great! And another curse! Dancing flames. What is this? Flamethrower traps activate automatically if you stand in front of them. I, that's how I thought they worked. Good to know that's not. <laughs> Alright, boss time. Oh, boy! It's a two... Two... Uh, character thingy. Oh, he can kill him. Alright, alright. He can throw them and do a curse attack. Oh, it's a summon uh, summoning attack. All right. I really wish if I was behind the things, he wouldn't actually be able to hit me. Oh, I see. So some of the enemies will glow uh I do not I was not in there I really start attacking him Oh, these perfect dodges. You can't get much better than that. You gonna summon a dog. Oh, wrong button. 
Come on, we can do it. Finish him. Come on, we can do it right here, right here, right here. Oh, oh! I thought it was gonna go summon, so I'm gonna go hit the Y button. Hey! First boss. Let's go. Now, do we heal? That's the big question here. I have not a clue what's going on. That's it? Is that we, did we win? I think we won. Okay, now we got our blessings. Interaction button. So this is where we get upgrades. I guess we beat the first. What do I take? Take them. Oh, it changed my weapons. Got it. Oh, here is our blessings. So we have five reds, 20 skulls, and 50, oh, there's more things. Got it. Okay, very interesting. Let me give a fix. Restore altars, more choice, throwing weapons, upgrade altar. Yes, that makes sense. Uh Oh, here's the greens. Got it. Oh, they upgrade weapons. I guess it's a legendary weapon, maybe? Which is... Oh, there are a bunch of stuff. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Well, I guess we should start upgrading, huh? Let's just do it. Cool. <laughs> and then, uh, maybe keep. Let's do one of these. I don't know what that did. I uh, mean, one of these? Three kills, restore one stamina. I don't know. Gain a thousand gold and five recession to start of your exploration. That seems kind of good. So they're like little upgrades you get. Yeah, I'll take that too. And then you can remove all. Okay, so you get three things. I understand. So I guess if I were to start right now. Would we go further? Well, I think I'm going to stop right here for now, because we <laughs> we won our very first run. So thank you all so much for watching Curse of the Dead Gods. If you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. It really helped me out a ton. And you're going to see more progress with this game. I'm not sure what we're in for. Probably like, definitely a lot more enemy types, more weapons, more exploration. And figuring it out. I'm excited. Please, uh, yeah, uh, stay tuned. Yeah, I don't think I have anything else left to say. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one.